welcome to my channel just rella i know i'm a little bit late but i wanted to give y'all an update on my 30-day transformation challenge or life transformation um so if you are interested to see exactly how my 30-day transformation challenge ended then definitely stay tuned so as much as I want to be all optimistic with y'all and give y'all this amazing report card on how my 30 day transformation challenge went, I'm going to keep it all the way real. After 12 days, it went down the damn drain. Okay. So for the first 12 days, I killed, I ate healthy. I didn't touch any bit of junk food. I worked out consistently. I had lost seven pounds in those 12 days. Well, I found a couple of them. And what happened is I went to this haunted house attraction thing with my sisters. Um, I took a piece, I tasted kettle corn and it was over from that point on. Like a bitch went downhill from there. Like, yeah, I went back to my old stupid ass shit. And a lot of it is emotionally driven. Um, I can tell you that because as a <sighs> emotional eater, I still struggle with that part of my life very much. I'm gonna struggle with it for the rest of my life. It's never gonna go away. Um, but I just got off track and I kept trying to get myself back on track and I just honestly couldn't get there. So to recap what my 30 day transformation was, it was journaling every day, which I kept up with that, keeping a positive mindset, that would have been amazing, but I had some little shit throw me off um, and eating clean, which that hadn't happened. So. I wanted to be under 300 pounds by Halloween. I did not hit that goal. Right now, I'm totter, teeter tottering between three to five pounds from that, which is unnerving to me. So I'm going to Vegas in five days to celebrate my sister's 30th birthday. And then the top of December, I'll be in Atlanta to celebrate my 34th birthday with all of my friends and my sisters and my cousins and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna restart my challenge after um actually no i'm gonna do like a mini three week one after vegas like a 21 day challenge and then just get my life back on track so yeah as much as it sucks and i was on track to hit my goals you know keeping a positive mindset replacing each negative thought with a positive thought i just thought i would be a hypocrite if i didn't come on here and tell y'all that i did not complete my 30 days um I didn't reach my goals and some things happened that just threw me off track of my positivity mindset. I did continue to journal every single day and to try to manifest the things that I wanted, but I did get, I did get knocked off of my square. But here's the beautiful thing about our journeys in life, period. There are going to be some things that are going to happen. They're going to shake you up, that are going to throw you off. And it may take you a little minute to get back on course, but all that matters is that you do get back to what it is that you want to do and to completing the goals that you have for yourself. And it may not be overnight and it may take a little bit of time, but all that matters is that you do reach that destination. You know, the path there is going to be curvy, windy. You're going to have some peaks and some valleys, but just don't give up on yourself and keep going. One of the things I've always dealt with was beating myself up you know, when I did not complete something that I should have or shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? I'm not in that space in my life anymore. I've learned to be gentle with myself. I've learned to be forgiving. I've learned to just give myself the space to be a human being and know that we are not perfect. And yeah, we may set out on the course to be amazing and to kill shit, but sometimes we don't. But for me, I'm getting back on it. And that's really what matters to me. The universe been trying to teach my ass a lesson or something because I had to disconnect from a guy I was really connecting with. So I've never connected with a guy the way that I've connected with him. I met him on a dating app um, and we had just started a, a friendship, you know, talking all day, day and night, on the phone, four or five hours, up to three o'clock in the morning, falling asleep, like one of those things. And that's my judge. Like I love to be on the phone with the man to like wee hours in the morning. Um, but we were connecting super, super hard. But I had gotten some insight from a spiritual advisor that he was not being forthcoming with what he had going on in his life. I already had the intuition that was telling me that something's not right. And then when I asked him about it, he lied about it. And at that point I realized that I could not, could not honestly be involved with this person if he can't be honest with me just in the friend phase. Um, and then on Halloween, I ended up seeing my ex, the one who completely shattered my world. And we've been broken up for 10 years and I'm still trying to move past him completely and fully. I have been in other relationships. 
um, and been happy, you know, but it's like we're soulmates and we always circulate back to each other, even if it's just seeing each other out. And that's what happened on Thursday. Um, we hugged. I hadn't hugged him in two years. I haven't hugged a man, period. Like I told y'all in my last video, I haven't hugged a guy at all in two years. And it was a very emo emotional, intense reaction that I felt after. Um, and I've been in a funk ever since. It's been three days and he's in my dreams. I think about him day and night. And it was just a lot of hurtful things that took place, including him getting married to somebody else and having a whole family. Um, and, you know, it's life, right? And I don't know what, if anything will ever come of him and I. He is now divorced. Um, and I just thought that he would come back around to me. I did. I thought that he would come back to me and he didn't. And we had a conversation in July, which ended up him hanging up in my face because he's childish, um, where he let me know that it was something very stupid of why he didn't come back around. You know, people can be real funny. You know, they hold you to a standard they don't hold themselves to. I'm veering right now. I'm just getting it out. But yeah, so I'm going to get back to my 21 day challenge. Um, I'm really heavily thinking about going back to therapy. Um, I'm journaling. I'm getting my feelings out. I'm you know, expressing myself in multiple forms. You know, I've always been a songwriter. I love singing. So I've been making mad songs, mad poems, pouring into art, which is like my healing therapy outside of working out. Um, but I think that I definitely need to meet with this th th a therapist that I had before again, cause shit's getting real. And so, yeah, with that, I just wanted to give y'all an update, let y'all know that your girl crashed and burned. I was successful for almost half the time. Um, but I'm going to try it again. And I think I've eliminated all the little distractions that I had so I can really fully focus on this. And uh, I will be coming back with, to you all with another update, a successful 21 day challenge. And that's that on that. That's that. So thank y'all for watching. Um, I hope y'all having a fantastic night. Please like, share, subscribe my channel. Listen, I'm real close to 500 subscribers when i hit 500 subscribers your girl is doing a giveaway i'm not gonna tell you what but it's gonna be real real nice i'm gonna pick one of my bomb ass subscribers and i'm gonna give y'all something amazing when i hit 500 so share tell a friend to tell a friend even if they haven't had surgery and they just want to hear my crazy stories have them come and follow your girl thank y'all for watching thank you for supporting i love and appreciate you follow me on instagram Jessrella XO or Ariel J XOXO, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. All right, bye.